Counter-Strike is such a sandbox for the real world. I think all we can learn in there can be applicable to other real world situations where we have to make these decisions or think really fast. I'm fascinated by how people differ in their cognitive abilities and what we can do about that. In our research, we're looking at how playing Counter-Strike might relate to decision-making or learning or problem-solving. Counter-Strike is one of the most popular first-person shooter games. What happens in Counter-Strike is that there are two teams playing competitively against each other. You have to navigate a map and team communication. You have to also be really quick in grasping what is happening around you. So there is a lot of cognitive processing going on all in this one game. And it's been around for a really long time, which means that we get a nice diverse age range when we look into the study. So looking at how decision-making under pressure and cognitive processes happen in that game can help us to better understand how cognitive abilities play out in the real world. Counter-Strike players with more experience in the game, they are more likely to make decisions much faster in general. We found that these faster reaction times were mostly related to their non-decision times, such as their encoding and response execution, so that's the button pressing. Specifically more efficient in accumulating the evidence, getting to the correct decision in an eye blink, so to speak. I think I understand games a lot more, which means that I understand the research that I'm doing. Other research has often looked at lumping together all sorts of different games like Mario Kart or Call of Duty, which are really, really different games. We've recently partnered with some researchers at the University of Geneva to compare professional players of Counter-Strike versus professional players of League of Legends. And then continuing to work with people who have more expertise in Counter-Strike, like our professional players, really just help build the methodological soundness. Endpoint is a professional esports organization here in Sheffield. We are very lucky that we can collaborate with them and co-produce our research with them in building our measures and our questionnaires, helping us to get access to the communities. And so what we are doing different is that we look at the whole spectrum of expertise or skill in the game that we are looking at from novice to professional esports athlete. I've been playing video games almost all of my life. You often get told what a waste of time it is, but I kind of thought there was something more to this because perhaps by playing these games, participants are refining their abilities to make fast, speeded decisions. At the moment, this field is quite exploratory. It is maybe not surprising that it is, until this day, quite unclear how video gaming relates to cognitive abilities and whether it can be a potential avenue to improve our cognitive abilities. So we want to know more about how we measure gaming expertise, what different games can do for our cognition. What will be important as well is to link the findings that we have to what we know from other populations, other people, to make sure that our research is useful also beyond the gaming context. Some people are really good at solving problems both in the laboratory as well as in the real world. So when we can figure out how people do that, playing this game competitively, we can develop interventions that can support people in also reaching their full cognitive potential. Uh, I have to do the training, what? Oh, I don't see my crosshair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I probably should do the training. <laughs>